Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tag Team Portugal with Arumba. Say hi, Arumba. Hey, how's it going, Arumba? I'm not Arumba. I'm not a robot. <laughs> we are at war with Ming. And what's the plan with Ming? What are we going to do? I just want to piece him out so we can attack Japan. Sounds good to me. Genoa Honey. wants independence. That's quite laughable. So I think what we should probably do is we go on, occupy Shenyang, Shenyang, de declare the war on Japan so that our army doesn't get exiled from being at sea. Okay. The occupation of Shenyang will allow us to be, you know, not exiled during the war deck. And then okay. we go and attack Japan and Shenyang will probably be enough war score to get us out. He's already at six enthusiasm. Yeah, just blockading his capital is worth a lot, apparently. Poor guy. Well, that and we crushed a 30 stack of cannons or whatever that, whatever he had down there. Yeah, his army composite. Look at the army in Beijing. 6, 9, 30. What the oh, hell? Man. I don't want to do a naval invasion, though. No, we got to occupy Shenyang first. If you get off the boats in Hejian, then you can walk into Beijing. That there's, works. There's no fort protecting Hejiang. Which is kind of weird, because he has a million forts, but he's like, nah, I don't need one there. But yeah, that army comp. <laughs> Just, wow. It's like all the AI in this game has become smart. Smart. So you're talking about a war on Japan. Let me just see what it's going to look like here. You're going to go for overseas expansion, negative 50% aggressive expansion, and negative 50% cost for provinces. It's just insane. Yeah, but it was your idea, not mine. It's always a good idea to eat Japan. Especially in Victoria, too. He's an industrial powerhouse. Oh, God. He's losing 5,000 soldiers a day. What the hell? <laughs> oh wow wow exactly wow all right so you're gonna seize that down then we can declare our war <laughs> well he's at low he's at low enthusiasm here let's do this let's just occupy a single tick province japan has 17 ships and 24 soldiers not really a challenge. You know, we do have like our own land out here. We could just use that. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're up to. I forgot that we took over that land. Go ahead and just peace out. Well, you let us out now. Yeah. Yeah. 2% war score. Good enough. I just, I forgot that we owned Kelong, Taiwan. So I guess we're doing this, yeah? Yep, go for it. Uh -oh. I mean, why not, right? Well, the sooner the better. How oh, much man. how much admin oh he doesn't he has un he has un what is it called? Unfunded forts, two of them. Yeah, I see that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and it's right next to his capital. <laughs> Do we have to full seat him down for full annex? Probably. At least those two forts gotta go. Oh my god, Shen, look at where his army is. I gotta see. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> that's his whole army! <laughs> no, he said that, he's got 24,000 troops. There they are. That's what it is. So so that's why Jiangsu has been beating him up. Because Jiangsu has better navy than Japan. And since he has a better navy, Japan's army is completely stuck in Okinawa. That's... Wow. Uh, Eventually you would assume that they would just try to swim. No! No, 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 they can't. And they certainly cannot build transports and ferry their troops back home at peacetime. They've been at peace for decades. Surely they cannot do that. Obviously not. <laughs> but Japan has cores. We can feed them all back right away if we attack Jiangsu. Oh, God. It's just so silly. 
Yeah, Japan has cores on everything. Oh, did you want to vassalize him then? Or whatever it's called, protect them. Mm -mm. Well, then what are you talking about feeding him back? I don't know. If we if we release him, he'll be a protector at morning. Yes. Wait, Unless now, how is the fort of Yamato interfering with our movement to Kyoto when the fort is not funded? That doesn't make any sense. What the heck was that? <laughs> we couldn't move out of Yamato, even though the fort wasn't protected or wasn't funded. Ugh. I'm disgusted with the fort system, Arumba. I think I might have just created another zero stack army. No, don't do that. Those are silly. Okay, I fixed it. Portugal occupied Bungo. There goes the capital. That was tough. We occupied Bungo? Yeah, Bungo. Bunga Bunga. That's the name of it, is Bungo? Yes, sir. Cool. Just south of Chikunzen. Chikuzen, whatever. I don't know these province names. Do you just want to leave him with Okinawa? <laughs> just for fun? No, sure. we, we can't fabricate on Okinawa. Well, it doesn't matter. We have imperialism. We don't need to fabricate. Mm -hmm. And overseas expansion. And he can never westernize because he has no border. No. That's a little silly that you can't westernize without a border. Well, westernization is a bit excessive right now anyway. Yep, taking everything from him... Everything is actually going to be 118% overextension. Uh, so just take 100 then, right? Yeah, I would assume so. We're almost done with our cores. We have one year December. So a year and a half we're done. So uh, how's your little vacation to Japan going? How's that? Is it fun? You enjoy yourself? It's not over. It's over. Vacation strunk. It's over. Oh, wait. Uh oh, dude! Uh -oh. I told you to wait a year and a half. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> Whatever. Score it. We're it's over the hundred. We're over hundred percent. It's, it's, it's my fault. Doesn't matter. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. The rebels. They're gonna beat us. We're not going to get rebels. We'll be fine. Oh, we're going to get rebels. Okay, Only here's something I learned. This is important. If you're over 100% overextension, when the pop-up for 15% yeah, just, just unrest... Yeah, don't, just don't click the pop-ups. Yeah. Don't click any pop-ups when you're over 100%. Because that you cannot get that same pop-up uh, until the pop-up's gone. So just ignore all this stuff. Colonial Assembly, ignore that. They get auto-accepted after a while. Merchants assassinated, just ignore it. I get all the pop-ups, by the way. You don't get anything. I know, this is great. I, I could totally blind. go... <laughs> I could go over 100%. No problems. So who's next? I don't Magist know. Why'd magistrates be... resign. <laughs> Three in a row. <laughs> so who's next? Ottomans? You gotta start ferrying troops home. Do you want to attack the Ottoman? Oh, I do. I want to start getting our um, our marches set up, don't you? Oh, right, we're at peace. We can annex Milan. Dun, dun, dun. Done. Milan's annexing. Right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you want to try to time it so that... Okay, well, we need relations with Guillen then. Probably a gift. Yep. Notice how I subsidized Milan to make sure we'd be at 190? Oh, I noticed. You can cancel subsidies now, by the way. Yeah, waiting for the diplomat to be available to, to do it. October 3rd. Yep. So, rebel uprisings. Swiss separatists, Japanese separatists. How close are they? I don't know, but remember, uh, rebels progress at double speed when you're over 100%. Mm, Japanese separatists are at 80% already. Did you increase autonomy over there? 
Mm, no. Um, hmm. Can we make that part of a uh, trade company? I don't think so. Well, that's rather sad. So let's see. Before the end of the month here. Uh, if we start Guillen now, it'd be October 1715. When is Milan going to finish? Uh, 1719 June. So we're looking at four years from now. So 1710, we can start looking at the annexation of Guillen, okay? Okay, I'll never remember that, but okay. <laughs> it's going to be next week or something. Oh, there's the rebels. Oh, that that's easy. Come on now. Worried about rebels. What What rebels? Exactly. That's what she said? You know, we can trade company this... Oh, we can trade company Okinawa. That's better than nothing. Do you notice that we actually did take over the uh, Ryukyu Islands? I Okinawa? did. Okinawa? Yeah. Even though we didn't occupy it? So that means that those 24,000 troops that were stuck there... They're were, dead. Where'd they go? They're <laughs> dead. <laughs> so the events are being auto-accepted now. Just to let you nice. know, we're going to get more. But it slows down the events, which is good. Swiss separatists can only happen in one province. My bad. It's all good. I don't mind all these events. I mean, most of them are innocuous. The plus, so the plus 15 revolt risk is a problem, but... What, um, which war do you want to do next? Ottomans? Yes, definitely. Do we need the troops that are over on the, over in near Japan to, to come to, to beat? Do we need those troops to beat Ottomans? I don't think so. Hey, oh, we France can rival is, France again. Yeah, yeah. France, eligible rival. Cool. Go for it. Let me check Ottoman numbers here. Ottomans have 136. So we probably don't need those guys, no. But they do have 153 manpower. So they, they'd be a little bit tough to whittle down. But we probably don't need that ar those armies over there. Because that was only, what, 70 guys? Yeah, 60 to 70. I'll just leave them there, I guess. I mean, we can build another 100 regiments if we actually have... Well, we have 100 manpower. So we, we could build up 100 regiments right now. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be low on manpower if we do that. We are 100 under the force limit. Wow. Yeah, and we, um, we do have some mercs, but we could definitely hire more. I'm going to hire more mercs. How's that sound? Hire a bunch of mercs, merc inventory and stuff for for the upcoming war. Did you rival France again? Yeah. Sweet. That means we can embargo him again, too. Okay, I've decided I know where I want to attack next. Not, related, not related to the Ottomans. Well, we declare on the Ottomans... Co-belligerent Tuscany. That'll put us at war with four nations. Bohemia, Tuscany, Crimea, and the Ottomans. That's it. It's not that much. We can probably call Hungary and Saxony into those wars, too. Okay, that's your war. <laughs> you you handle that one. Yes, the guy with the lag is going to handle that one. Yes. Why would you be lagging? Because I'm not the host. Does it lag badly? No, it's not bad, but it's noticeable. Like, especially, like, I have to pause every time I want to split armies or anything. You were complaining about that from the very beginning, though. Mm -hmm. That's just the way got, it is. Didn't you get better internet? It's the same internet. There's mm -hmm. no gigabit here in Portland yet. Well, there is, but it's not in this area. Oh, we lost a lot of claims on the Ottomans. That's not good. Well, we don't need claims for the overseas stuff. Oh, I know. But I'm still going to be claiming shit. Why not? And we still have a claim on Florence, so we're good there. Still have our claims on Naples, because we're going to be eating him at some point. And we're you almost know, we're almost through the danger zone here. We're at 82% coring on Montferrat. Go on. Well, I was just realizing we have overseas expansion and we have imperialism on like everyone. We can attack whoever the hell we want. Yeah. We don't have to focus on the Ottomans, but I thought we wanted to get our um, our marches set up before we went to war elsewhere. Yeah, we do. You're right. Otherwise, be... we could... I mean, this coring in Japan, it's so cheap and so easy 
we could just just keep cycling through and taking stuff ourselves. Yeah, I'm just right now I'm looking around to see if there are people who don't have alliances. Yeah, Brunei, we could do imperialism on. Do we not have a truce? No, no truce. No truce. Imperialism, no allies, and they are 190%. They're Western. They're Western. <laughs> but yeah, we can still beat them up. Oh, and if we get control of his trade node there, the Malacca trade node, that will give us another button to click called... Uh, what is it called? Oh. The East India Company? Oh, maybe we've already done that one. Oh, no, it's not a button to click. It is... It is the East Indian Trade Route. It's a triggered modifier. We just need to have the... Um, oh, no, we need an active merchant. Never mind. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So what's this about a war? It was a, another Defender of the Faith thing. Have you been joining it? No. Okay. I looked at it, and it, it was like a bunch of people that we could easily beat, but just didn't want to have to fight them. Wow, that Brunei Navy. What, what <laughs> Brunei Navy? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, we have a claim down there in Kalapa. Nice. That's an important center of trade. Did you at least start another claim before you declared? No. Okay. Why do we need claims? Assistant overseas. It's 90% reduction. But it's not overseas extension. Overseas expansion. That doesn't matter. Meh. Like, what, what, why would that matter? What are you trying to reduce? Does it it's, not? Is it going to be flat ninety no matter what? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is, it's we're going to pay ten percent cost. Oh crap! There's a siege. Where did that happen? I didn't get the pop up. It must to be Tokachi. Oh, it's Damn in. It. It's in the North Island. Uh, I was worried they might rebel, but I took the entire army because I figured. I oh, just sail up there. Oh, just You'll be fine. sail up there. He says. You'll be like, fine. It's so easy. He says. <laughs> Did you oh. did you see uh, what's it called Wizard doing chores? No. On Reddit, oh my god, it's fucking amazing. It's it's a guy in a wizard hat and a little cape, and he has like a little uh, what do they call the wand, and he's doing household chores like washing the dishes, but he's doing it all sarcastically, like it's a big difficult thing to do. He's like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, and he's like making his bed, and he's all groaning the whole time. He's just waving his wand, doing it. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Sounds like you. It's like you have this big, easy war to do. It's like, yay, we're stomping someone in the dust. Oh, rebels. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. Mm. Well, it's a lot of work, Shen. <laughs> hey, look, they're moving into uh, to Jiaozuzu's. Oh, interesting. But they'll be back. They can only go for those couple provinces because of culture. They're cultural rebels. Wow, we have a lot of policies available. We do. Are there anything that's interesting? Oh, national manpower modifier could be cool. Mm, accepted culture threshold is available. Would that actually bring anybody in to accept it? Uh, what's the difference? Minus 10%. 10%. Uh, mm, no. We're very close on Occitane, though. So, let's see. Is there any more Occitane to get? Occitane. Culture, well, culture, accepted culture. culture bringing down by 10% off the base would take us accepted culture to 8%. So it would make Akatan accepted. Oh, well, then let's do it. Definitely. There are let's two see, more Akatan provinces, by the way. That's the only one I think that would actually become accepted by doing it. But So for 120 Diplo, then, I think it is. Is that worth it? Yeah, prob probably. Go for it. I mean, we're trying to core don't, stuff. But... Don't let me get in your way. Oh, is it an admin idea? No, it's Diplo. No, oh, Diplo's fine. We got lots of Diplo. Well, we won't, though, after integrating Gain and <laughs> Milan. That's true. All right, so you've, you've committed to going to the island, right? You're going to make island? it. Gonna, Hokkaido. I just, I, it's so far away. Oh, come on now. I have oh. to manually go up there and tell them to get off the boats. It's so yeah. much work. <laughs> Yay, we accept Akatane. <laughs> that's actually really big because that's on the um, Genoa node. How many damage? Ugh. Jerks.
We still have this giant scroll bar of things to convert, but we're over 120% religious unity. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hey, a new emperor. And he's actually pretty good, a 632. However, we did get rise of a pretender. So what province is this in? Savoy. Oh, okay. No problem. Stupid rebels. Who do you think you are? Challenging the, the emperor. Jerk. Oh, and it didn't change our claim strength. I would have thought... So remember when I said that we had a weak claim heir, and there was a pop-up that would lower the claim strength of our heir by 10. And I asked you if you cared about the claim strength of our heir, and you said, no, not really. Yeah. It didn't lower it at all. Was it still, what, 20? Yeah. 20 legitimacy? Yeah. Do you want to debate something in Parliament? No. <laughs> oh, did we add any of that land we conquered into... Uh, oh, I'll do it now. Yeah, all that stuff in... I'll do it now. Did Wiz mention anything about, you know, this stuff being a little OP, since you don't have to debate anything? No. You get all these bonuses anyway? No, I, I'm not mentioning that to him. <laughs> Why would I bring that up? I don't know. I mean, the the breaking the uh, five-year truce timer thing is important, but something like this, oh, it's not important. Oh, you brought up the, the way you can just guarantee people all the time? No. I no. didn't do that. Why, why would I do that? Because it's silly. Yeah, I did. Just I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> for, for, like, breaking people's fun. Well, we're not playing games to have fun. You know, you know that's something I've noticed. I can, I can honestly say... I had more fun playing this game prior to the addition of forts. I, I can say that right now. When they added forts, the game became a lot less fun. I think a lot of it has to do with they didn't really get the fort mechanics perfect on the first attempt. Mm -hmm. And you're always at war in this game. You're always at war, so the forts are always impacting your game experience. And for me, the game experience has been really to the detriment because of the way the forts are being, I think, mishandled. And I, it's, it could be a lot more fun, I think, without the forts. I um, would love are... for them to work on that. I was looking around at one of the mods. I think it was Veritas mm -hmm. at 42, though. Add something similar to what we used to have, where you still have to actually siege down, I think, every province. Um, so it doesn't really solve your problem. So you don't like zone of control, is what you're saying. I don't think the zone of control works right. If it did, and it made, and if it made sense, then I'd probably be okay with it. But the way it's implemented now is just so frustrating. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'm kind of used to it. it. To me, there's very seldom a situation where something weird happens with forts that I can't like figure out and makes me angry. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, I'm pretty fun. I'm pretty fine with forts and everything. I think the main issue is when there's overlapping forts. Yeah, definitely. So you want me to wait for these cores or should I just, you know, make you have a bunch of pop-ups? Oh, these are almost done. Um, but I thought you wanted to take like 100% OE again. Oh yeah, probably, but I could take us to 200% OE. Um, how's, that, how's that sound? That sounds like a lot of rebels. Do you like rebels? Sure. Look at as our. Long as, as long you have, as you deal with the pop-ups. <laughs> do you have the rebel faction list in your uh, outliner? Yeah. Okay, that's a big list. It'll get a lot bigger if, if you go to two hundred. <laughs> so, <laughs> isn't one hundred fine? Because we can just go to war again for the other hundred. <sighs> I <true>. guess. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> you don't understand me. <laughs> You get off the boat, you're just going to stand there. I, you know, it's a lot of work, okay? <laughs> you need to relax. Why are we so far ahead of time on everything? We have five years ahead of time on military and Diplo. I know. And we have the, we have the points for it. Can we get another idea group unlocked so that we can... That's uh, at tech 20... 26. 26. We're three techs away. Wow. And we're not teching up. Even though we're focused admin, we're not teching up because we're coring stuff all the time. 
So if you take yep. 200%, we're not going to get any ideas for a while. <laughs> You're fully yeah, aware. Even, even with 90% reduction, it still is a lot of land decor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still nice and cheap, but it's a lot of land decor. All right, so let's see if we can do some upgrades on some of these provinces that now have universities. And we got a lot of extra points, you might as well. What's the most important things to upgrade uh, when it comes to production? Just whatever has the highest trade value? Production. Um, yeah, you want to look like what node it's in. Is it upstream, downstream? Mm -hmm. What's the trade good? Yeah, I'm not too interested in fish, believe it or not. For some reason, this guy is not willing to accept a 59 piece deal. I mean, what the hell? It's very unreal. Unrealistic for him to accept. That's why. Unreasonable. Unreasonable. Thank you. Words. Do you speak the words good? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you know, why you have troops? I mean, why you have boats down there? Why don't you pick up our armies from Australia and New Zealand? Because we're not using them anymore. Those okay. colonies are done. I only see one army down here. Where's the other? Australia and New Zealand. Oh, wow. You have a lot of troops down here. They were protecting colonies from... Look at look at New Zealand. They're, well, you can't see them anymore, but there was like 9,000 natives. And it was just... Yeah. But we don't need them anymore. Well, uh, I am at negative five reasons for the peace deal that I want, so... And the cores are almost done. This is good. Yep, timing-wise, it's... Jianzu... They're westernizing is... off us. <laughs> no! <laughs> Didn't take them long. <laughs> That's going to take them a while to do, though. We should go beat him up. He's Ali Deming, though. Not that it matters. Okay, I'm almost done. Wow, Shen, we've, we're at 27-ish minutes already. What happened? I don't know. I heard the robot, and you didn't say anything, so I didn't say anything. I yeah, like time. long episodes. Time just keeps on ticking. Into the future. Oh, God. What? <laughs> okay, I need what? to start looking at annexation of Guillen as soon as this piece steel goes. Because it might be about time to hit that button. Ugh, oh, negative one reasons. Hmm? Now, we are doing 100%, right? Not 200%. 99.0% or extension. Okay. Ready? Sure. We're at 12.6%. We're over. We're going to go over. That's are because you, okay you, let, you let rebels spawn. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> what are you giggling about? Oh, just increase the autonomy. We're good. You having a giggle, mate? Having a giggle? Are <laughs> you? Wow, look how that cost us nothing. We still have 457 points. <laughs> That's awesome. There's nothing. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I'm in a good spot if you are. So. Okay. Thanks for watching, you, everyone. I have been you, Shen. He has been not Shen. We will see you guys next time for more shenanigans here. Get it? Shenanigans. In Asia I, because of our wonderful overseas expansion CB. All right. We'll see you later. See you soon.